the salary was actually uh, quite low over there it was like uh, uh, 19000 per month only so friends welcome back to our channel learn with gigs in this video i have invited vidhan morya who started his journey from a bpo sector because he comes from a non tech background now he has cracked a job of a data analyst as a fresher after 1.5 years of career gap his journey is really motivating and inspiring so do watch this video completely till the end and also please do congratulate him in the comment box as he really deserves this appreciation now let's start the video and before that please do like this video it really motivates me subscribe to the channel if you're new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with kicks hi vidhan uh, thank you so much for taking out your time and coming onto this channel so we will begin with your introduction first and also walk us through how your journey started towards data analytics yeah sure uh, so first of all i would like to thank you shashank for uh, inviting me to this platform to share my journey with all the fellow data analyst aspirants and to begin with my introduction uh, my name is vidhan morya i belong to indore madhya pradesh i have completed my schooling from uh, uh, shri devi ayla shishu vihar indore and I have completed my bachelor's in commerce from uh, Devi Ahilya University, Indore. And uh, uh, during uh, uh, my graduation in 2000, uh, during this my second year of my graduation, it was actually the time period of COVID that uh, uh, I was like uh, uh, very free at that time. And uh, I thought that uh, I should be doing something and I should not be waste, wasting this time period. So I wanted to do a job and uh, uh, like I wanted to do any kind of job where I could where I could learn something and I could also earn something as well. So uh, I started my journey with a BPO job where uh, I got a call from a consultancy and they offered me a job and uh, uh, I joined that job and it was actually a US campaign, US healthcare campaign. And uh, uh, and uh, in that particular job, I brushed up my soft skills, my communication skills, uh, email drafting and basic Excel. Uh, so uh, I am very much thankful that I got that job and uh, uh, I worked there for like uh, around two years. And uh, in that uh, job only, I got introduced to my colleagues and uh, they uh, like uh, in during our conversation, we uh, came across this uh, job profile of uh, data analytics. And uh, I was like very much fascinated with this idea of uh, uh, how we can derive business decisions, big, big, big uh, business decisions through the help of data by analyzing that data and uh, 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 finding the hidden patterns in the data and analyzing that data and uh, make data driven decisions. So I started researching more about that, uh, uh, like data analysis, like uh, what tech stacks which are being used and uh, uh, where, like i started preparing for the tech stacks uh, advanced excel power bi uh, sql and uh, python and i started learning all those uh, tech stacks and uh, so that was the introduction of my data analytics journey so during the college day itself you got that uh, bpo job right so they have any kind of criteria to select because you were doing the undergraduate at that time only uh, so in the BPO job, there is no particular criteria. It's just that uh, uh, as it is an international campaign, so uh, you should be uh, like good in communication skills and uh, uh, you should be uh, very much comfortable in working in night shifts and rotational shifts. So that is their basic criteria only. How much you are getting there as a salary? Uh, the salary was actually uh, quite low over there. It was like uh, 19,000 per month only. So in which year you left that BPO job? Uh, in the mid of 2023. So as you mentioned Vidhan, you have learned the skills, the relevant skills like advanced Excel, SQL, Power BI, Python. So can you tell me what all resources you use to upgrade yourself? Yes, sure. Uh, so first of all, I thought that it is quite a, a technical role. And uh, uh, as I belong to a non-tech background, as I mentioned, I had done BCom. And uh, so I thought that I should be joining an offline institute or something where I would be getting trained by a professional trainer. And uh, so that would be quite, quite beneficial for me. Uh, so I joined uh, uh, an educational institute. Uh, um, and you must be familiar with the fact that there are many companies what they are doing is uh, they are uh, starting their own coaching institute where uh, they promise that they will be providing a live environment and uh, you will be working on a live project and uh, the students also get fall into this trap that uh, as this is also an IT company uh, so the learning here would be quite great so uh, I was also one of them that I fall into that trap and I joined that institute 
and uh, i had paid somewhere around 12000 rupees for uh, a three month course and all the things were quite well for one week but uh, after one week the things were not going great as i had done like full payment so uh, like i was not uh, i thought i then i came across that the uh, tutor who was teaching us was not that much uh, knowledgeable and he was not giving quite much attention to us as he was also working for uh, working for his company only as he is the founder as well and, and he is teaching as well so he was also giving preference to his company only he was coming late to the classes and all there were a lot of things and uh, i thought that i am just wasting my time over here and uh, uh, within a one month of time period only i i left that uh, uh, institute and i thought that i should be uh, doing everything on my own only i uh, i started learning from youtube and uh, uh, firstly i started with this uh, solo learn application that is a quite good application for the beginners and uh, they uh, the teaching is quite from the starting from the very beginning over here and the interface is also quite uh, good over there so for the beginning solo learn was the application where i started learning sql and python and then i started learning from uh, uh, youtube only there are so many people who are doing a very good job over uh, on youtube like uh, there is a youtuber called uh, uh, rishab mishra uh from him i learned sql and advanced excel and then power bi of course i followed your channel and uh, so yes that was like the resources which i used okay so you mentioned one application right solo learn so is it a free application uh, yes it is mostly free but uh, uh, for like uh, uh, for the advanced features uh, advanced features like uh, getting the hints or uh, some uh, more uh, getting help from the fe fellow community people Uh, you need to pay some amount otherwise it is mostly free all the features are quite free over there and friends if you want to learn power apps power automate power bi power virtual agents and sharepoint and make your profile more strong as a fresher and if you are particularly looking for live classes then i would recommend you to go for a power platform developer course offered by ksr data vision at an affordable price range the course duration is of 4 months the first week of classes will be free of cost so you can decide whether you want to continue or not the licenses will be free of cost which you will be needing to practice all these relevant skills which i believe nobody else is providing in the market. kit they will also provide you interview preparation guide along with mock interviews plus they will also provide sample resumes to make you job ready i am providing the link of the course in the description box of this video please do check it out and apply for power platform developer batch the next batch is starting soon okay vidha now let's talk about your resume so you resigned from a bpo job you started your career as a fresher in data analytics so how did you design your resume as lot of people uh, does bpo job and they want to do the transition right as a fresher and you have done that so can you present your resume and show us how have you built your resume so this is my resume uh, it is a as i am a fresher it is a one page resume only which is enough on the top i have uh, uh, mentioned my name in bold letters and uh, I, then i have written my uh, contact details over here and i have also mentioned the uh, linkedin profile linkedin profile and portfolio link clickable as well and then i have uh, uh, written my skill section over here as i have also mentioned my uh, linkedin profile and portfolio over here uh, and i would like to mention that uh, it is very much important for the candidates to mention their linkedin profile and portfolio as the uh, you know, recruiters nowadays prefer uh, that the candidate mu candidate must include their portfolio as it it gives you a quite uh, benefit that uh, you have worked on your uh, uh tech stacks and uh, you are proficient in the tech stacks which are required for a particular job role so after uh, uh, the basic details i have mentioned my skills what skills i am proficient in and then i have uh, 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 written my uh, professional experience which is basically i had done an internship with this platform culture hire uh, i really cannot thank enough this platform culture hire where i have boosted my Uh, skills and i have got that confidence that uh, i am proficient in these skills uh, it is a very great platform uh, i had done two months of uh, internship from this uh, culture hire platform uh, so after the experience section i have uh, uh, written the project section uh, i have included three projects over here of uh, every particular tech stack so which are quite important uh, for excel i have uh, 
uh, mentioned one project. For SQL, I have mentioned one project. And for Power BI, uh, I have mentioned one project. Uh, and I have also uh, written the roles and responsibilities I had uh, the, in the project section. Uh, and these are all my personal projects. And uh, uh, then uh, I have mentioned my education section. So Vidhan, uh, you have directly mentioned about your internship from Culture Hair, right? You haven't mentioned anything about BPO. Why is it so like, uh, like if you have some experience, you have two years of experience in BPO sector, still you haven't mentioned anything on your resume. Why is it and why it is important to not show? Can you tell all those things? Uh, so I had not mentioned the uh, BPO section uh, in the experience section because uh, uh, there are many recruiters who do not find the BPO sector experience relevant enough. Uh, because in the BPO sector, uh, I had only uh, developed my uh, soft skills over there and I had not uh, worked much on my technical skills in the BPO sector. Uh, and uh, as I said, the recruiters do not find it relevant enough. And uh, in the uh, like, uh, first of all, uh, when I developed my CV for the very first time, I had mentioned the uh, BPO sector in the resume, but I was not getting enough responses over there because uh, 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 I, they were counting me uh, as a uh, experienced candidate, but uh, experience was not relevant. So uh, I did get a call from a recruiter and they said that uh, uh, you are experienced, but you are not experienced as a data analyst. And uh, so that would not be relevant for us. Uh, so uh, after that advice from a recruiter, uh, then only uh, I removed the uh, BPO part from part experience part from the uh, resume. And as a fresher, how many interview calls you got with this resume? Uh, actually, uh, in the very beginning, I was not uh, uh, getting enough calls. But uh, after uh, uh, after get doing some uh, changes in the resume, uh, I was getting like uh, uh, two to three calls only uh, per day, I guess. Uh, yes. So you were getting calls, two to three calls per day as a fresher. So lot of people who will be watching this video they say that they don't get any calls right and you can hear from Vidhan you have the live example he used to get two to three calls per day now uh, Vidhan let's talk about what all strategies you followed in detail which actually helped you to get interview calls from different companies uh, so uh, the strategies which I had uh, used uh, are like uh, uh, there are different there are many steps which I had followed uh, I was regularly following uh, uh, all the people who had uh, deep knowledge about this industry uh, like there is this person called uh, Ayan Khan who posts uh, uh, really great articles on LinkedIn about uh, data analysis field. Uh, I and uh, there is this girl uh, uh, Shakra Shamim who is uh, who has very deep knowledge and uh, Munna Das. There is one guy and uh, also you as well, Shashank Singh. Uh, I follow these people who regularly post about the. Uh, details like uh, what their learnings uh, in the field of data analysts. Uh, I used to follow these people and uh, I also used to follow some people who regularly post the job updates. Uh, like there is this one guy called uh, Bhave Sharoda uh, who regularly posts uh, uh, jobs related to data and there are many people and there are many platforms like uh, uh, Ed Analytics. There is one page on LinkedIn who also post uh, daily job updates about the data field. So I used to follow uh, these platforms and these channels. Uh, I used to follow uh, some, I had also followed some channels on Telegram and uh, some channel, channels on WhatsApp who regularly post the job updates. And uh, I had also uh, uh, used two platforms majorly, uh, LinkedIn and Indeed.com. Uh, there are some people who do prefer Nokri.com, but uh, I do prefer uh, uh, Indeed.com only because I really like the interface and uh, uh, the users of uh, indeed.com. Uh, so I was regularly following uh, all the job posts, as I said, uh, from the, all the channels and uh, of both the platforms. Uh, but uh, uh, as, as, all, as I had also told that I was uh, following a lot of recruiters as well who post the jobs regularly. And there was one recruiter uh, from my current company uh, where I had joined uh, who posted this job update uh, on LinkedIn. And uh, uh, I had uh, uh, applied on that uh, uh, LinkedIn via the email mentioned on the uh, by the recruiter and uh, yes that was from where I started uh, getting the call from the uh, current company which uh, I have joined. Okay so you can hear from Vidhan's uh, experience that if you are very active on LinkedIn 
if you are connecting with lot of recruiters if you are following right people who are from data analytics to me so actually it will help you the way it has helped vidhan so vidhan you mentioned that you used to get two calls per day right but how many calls got converted into interview like how many actual interviews you gave uh, so uh, i had uh, uh, given three interviews where uh, i got rejected in three interviews and then uh, where i then i got, gave the fourth interview and then i got selected in the fourth interview fourth so, uh, uh, fourth interview yes okay so as a fresher you can get multiple interview calls the way uh, vidhan has got uh, you just have to follow the right steps and right strategies so vidhan based on your experience of giving interviews in four companies what will you say about the salary uh, which is offered to a fresher as a data analyst or as a power bi developer Uh, actually the uh, salary uh, differs from company to company uh, if you are joining a, a mnc or a mid range company or a startup company so it does varies but uh, uh, the average salary i would say is somewhere around 4 lp according to me okay okay vidhan uh, thank you so much for sharing your amazing journey uh, people will definitely learn a lot from you get a lot of insights from you and it will help them to move forward in their career so thank you so much again for coming